Okay, so you... Can I just say something? Yeah. Shall I put the light on? Yeah, why not? <laughs> might be quite handy. It'd be nice to see what we're doing. If we can't see us, they won't see us. Hello and welcome to our channel. And if this is your first time here, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. <laughs> You're so formal, aren't you? I sort of start from an assumption everyone knows what the fuck we are and what we're doing. I sat down at the studios today to have my makeup done and was chit-chattering away and then suddenly I realised my hair had been cut off. <laughs> what do you mean? You notice... You look like Shirley Temple. Simone cut my hair. What's happened? Anyway, if you've never seen me before, this is completely regular. Anyway, if okay. you're regular here, you will think, where's Nadia's hair gone? Okay, well, um, <laughs> tell us about trains. What? How much you like trains? I love a train journey. I, this weekend, this last weekend, I went to Glasgow and I went on the plane, on the way there and on the train coming back. And what and do you like about trains? There is no comparison. I love that you get to settle in, that you can make a little home for yourself, that you can eat, that you can drink, that you can wander about, that you can sleep. Yeah, they're, they're a bunch of good reasons, aren't they? Yeah. Well, are you going to show me some horrible horror movie no. where no. Um, people get eaten by the train or something? Eaten by the train? No, I'm going to show you a new Brad Pitt film. Now, tell us about Brad Pitt. You're not an enormous fan, are you? Well, I think he... I think he can be fantastic, but he's ruined a few movies for me. Has he? But once we were in the National Gallery at closing time. Yeah, we were. And he swanned in with Angelina and... They closed the gallery oh, and we were trapped in there with them. God, when he walked in, because I'd always been a bit yeah. marked, tell them. Well, you were, Charisma. No, I mean, this man walked in with kind of cowboy shoes. He's and, huge. I mean, and we all swooned. He's so tall yeah. and she's so tiny. Tiny little face, tiny little body. Because she's always very statuesque <clears throat> in photographs. She's got huge cheekbones. Anyway, we'd been there. We were there because we wanted to see this exhibition. And then what we did was just shuffle around yeah. behind them. Just just following them. Trying to smell them. Yeah. Trying yeah. to look at them. Were you trying to... Was that why so, you were on the floor sniffing? In a way, I feel like I, we know Brad oh, quite intimately. We spent a good 20 minutes with him. Sniffing him. Sniffing him. Um, do you like fast trains? Mark, what are you driving at? Oh, good. I like what you did there. Driving it. Okay, this new film is called Bullet Train because they oh, have them like in. Oh, like the Japanese. Yeah, train. yeah, and you know, by all accounts, you faster know, faster than the speed of light, faster than the speed of sound or something, mm. but so smooth. Faster than the speed of a bullet, but so smooth. Well, I don't think it could be as That's fast creepy. as a bullet. Yeah, it's creepy. So they're, they're sort I of. I don't really want to get somewhere fast. I like a slow train to nowhere. I don't think Japan was big enough for a bullet train. Yeah, You'd fly you off the end up? of the island, wouldn't you? Anyway, this is a new trailer for a film called Bullet Train. Uh, it stars Brad Pitt and a whole, a, host, a whole host of other stars. No, it's an espionage, assassins on a train type thing. Oh. But I think it has a bit of a sense of humour too. Is so, what, what is wrong with you? Is this what you like on a You've train? you more area with your feet. I haven't. God, I don't That's want to better. sit opposite you in, in a train carriage. Okay, so here we go. Train. Hi, there's a gun. Shh, Mr. It's the quiet car. Got you just want to start voicing his son. There's a gun. Oh, he's not going to be walking to it. Yeah, he is. I am ready. You are getting the new and improved me. Because if you put peace out in the world, you get peace back. I think you might be forgetting what you do for a living. Take the gun. Every job I do, somebody dies. I'm not that guy anymore. Some conflicts require a gun. <laughs> hey, this is nice. <laughs> Okay, what am I snatching and or grabbing? A briefcase. You said you wanted simple for your first job back. It doesn't get simpler. You stab me? Yeah! We'll ruin your life the way you ruin mine. Dude, I don't even know you! There's nothing simple about this job. There's something else going on here. Yeah, I'm not the only one on this train looking for this case. Evan, mm. where's the briefcase? 
Oh, it's that shit. It was just there. We are right on the level. Everything that's ever happened to you. This is gonna sting, bitch! Oh! Has led you here. Fate. That's a shit deal. Oh, no, thank you. You know what? Do you have um, anything sparkling? That's the one. Thank you. Don't worry about that. Okay. Sure you want to talk this out? Not particularly, no. Uh, okay. <laughs> Wow, I'm a bit frightened uh, by that. Why? Because it was really good and I'm worried the film can't stand up to it. Yeah, well, the problem with a film that's fast paced and rapidly edited is that when that translates into a trailer, it's supremely rapidly edited mm. and it will never maintain that pace. No. And have they shown all the good bits? Because there was a lot of good bits. There were a lot of good bits. And I have to say, Brad Pitt was making me laugh. Yeah, I didn't like his hair. I like his hair. Off. No, it didn't need to he's, happen. Really, if you've got hair like that, he's 57, isn't he? I don't know. He looks amazing. Okay. I've got a new man crush. I, I thought that looked really good. I thought he was on the on the form that I like him to be on, yes. which is that dry wit. Yeah. In fact, it's directed by Deadpool people, because yeah. I love Deadpool. Too. Yeah, exactly. I was feeling that similar humour from yeah. Deadpool. So was I. And um, very funny opening scene. Um, love that, The Quiet Carriage. And I actually, on the weekly rushes, I've been saying, what is the point of a film called Bullet Train? It's just not got the right ingredients. And mm. actually, that convinced me to go and see it. Just explain what the weekly rushes are. The weekly rushes is where we do a weekly roundup of all the movie and streaming news. Every Friday. Every Friday. Here on this channel. Oh, yeah.